Hello humans, this is Ranav Vesad and welcome to the Ranav channel. Today we are going to be reviewing Simplest RPG Online. We played Simplest RPG, you should remember that. Decent game, not exactly the best but uh, now we have the online version. So let's start. As you can see, it looks fairly similar but also very different. And so we're gonna go into the fight option. I'm gonna explain every single thing. Here's you, here you got your energy, here you got your gemstones for special purchases. Here's you got your gold, your standard currency. Uh, here's my level 131. And you can go into manage points and you can specifically, singularly, invest points into whatever stat you want like strength, stamina, dex and int intelligence and uh, I have put my points into intelligence and stamina because I am playing a mage character as I said last time there was a severe lack of builds in the game and now we have builds in the game and now with that we have builds so let's start we're going to fight we have three options monster arena and ruins monster is your simple monster information you know now the problem with uh, this is the same as the last one as you kill monsters to get gain levels and gold the monsters don't have enough information they used to have hp and attack on them which i think is essential info now they have useless info like how many times the shaman was used i mean it's fine to tell me that but at least tell me the hp and attack which is just you know it allows me to see how difficult the monster is going to be instead of just going in a fight and losing gold unnecessarily now next up we have arena the arena is basically pvp it has not gone to the point of seasonal warfare yet the season one has not started but you can still lose xp and gold if you lose to other players basically you know you fight other players it's pvp <laughs> what, what do you think it would be it allows you to fight with players on the same level as you and higher levels if you see that they have loads of trophies then they most likely have min max and upgrade the character and equipment you will probably get one shotted as i did a bunch of times not gonna lie um, the only reason I have so many trophies as you can see 61 is because I found a super weak player on my same level and I kept fighting him for some reason the list didn't update every single time I fought him so if I go into arena as you can see there's a bunch of players and here's uh, someone on actually lower level than me and I won that fight because he did not min max his uh, equipment but uh, because I found a really weak player and he was um, he was he, he, his, his character keeps showing up doesn't matter how many times I defeated him I just kept clicking on him just to get a trophy <laughs> and I kept building it up to I got like, 62 trophies now so pretty much most of them are from that same guy I just kept defeating him to get some uh, daily task done um, but maybe it's a bug I don't know if you're allowed to fight same players again and again just to get trophies I don't know if they lose gold or experience or what what happens exactly i don't know the you know essentially the deets on this but yeah the ruins is something that got added just now about like i think few hours ago i just saw the update um i think not today yesterday i think i don't remember but uh ruins got added so you have these ruins as you did last time same as last time takes a certain amount of energy and gives gold an item uh, which was useful in the f first starting levels but now you can get legendary items and loads of other stuff as you can see right here uh, there are percentages provided us for, for us to see what we can get uh, you cannot, cannot access the arena and monsters uh, when you're in the ruins and you also cannot attack the boss when you're in the ruins i did this ruin i think it took me like 250 energy and 15 minutes Let's see what I got 10 gems 70 ethereal gemstones which are great because uh, I need those for upgrading my materials I mean my equipment and so I think the best thing I got of that was the ethereal gemstones nothing else everything else was okay whatever um, I think I'm gonna cancel that actually because I need to show you guys other things anyway uh, next up we have quests which are not out yet so pointless talking about that next up we have tasks now tasks seem to be a little more expansive like nothing crazy or rewarding but i guess you could use them at the start of the game they seem to give decent amount of xp don't know if they scale properly to your level because if like i've not played the game enough because i don't know it's just the same as the last game it's not like that much changed that i would have the any anything in the name of desire to play it i did play it i'm level 131 so obviously i played it for a few days but it's just not that different that I would spend a whole lot of time but if you have not played simplest RPG then I think you might want to check this one out 
it's decent enough as you can see a simple quest fight players and this and that <laughs> that was the quest i was finishing exactly this is why i have the amount of trophies i have let's move on to the inventory this is where your equipped and unequipped equipment is look like the uh look like the equipment as before it's nothing much changed there are two em empty slots right here as you can see top right top bottom and uh, these empty slots uh, maybe they will add something in there and you can do this to the inventory you can expand it <laughs> what else to say but uh, you can expand it. and uh, yeah so basically these are your basic stuff just your uh, ring your amulet or whatever your uh, uh, hood chest plate your wand as i have a wand or your weapon whatever you have gloves pants shoes these are ethereal gemstones which i will tell you about in a minute selling extra equipment is simpler you don't have to go into a different menu you can just do it from right here and now we move on to the blacksmith now blacksmith no longer is there a 10 percent chance of breaking your equipment as it did before you will save a lot of gold because of that i lost a lot of gold in the first game because of exactly that not being able to upgrade to 100 level because uh, again and again breaking the item i think that did this because you're stuck on the same equipment for such a long time that you had to upgrade it to the max um, but now you just move on to the next equipment before you have the opportunity to upgrade to the the same equipment to the max it's mostly because i think they sped up the levels and added more equipment so there's really not a need to upgrade everything to the maximum but you know some people play like that because of which arena tends to be a bit difficult uh, you can also equi uh, upgrade equipped equipment i don't know why that is such a twing tongue twister to say you can also upgrade equipped equipment also there uh, there are these ethereal gemstones as i said these ones uh, you need these for upgrading your you randomly get these and you can see two three ways to get them through ruins you can get them for, through uh, boss monsters you can also get from just killing random monsters um and uh, you can use these to upgrade your weapons i think above like level 60 or something of any weapon or equipment uh, you start to have to spend gold as well as gemstones so yeah there's that so let's move on to the next one which is the shop shop is pretty much the same no difference the only thing is different is that the rings are not available for some reason i think they might be level locked or something i don't know if they have not added the rings or something but the rings and amulets are not there except for that they are pretty much the same Moving on to the next one they ha we have guilds now guilds are a bit interesting because until um, like until the last update which came i don't know a few hours ago or yesterday there was no point in joining a guild i joined several guilds and i was like what the fuck do i do here there's no like uh, community activity or anything but now they have added something right here as you can see you get perks i think it's based on the level of the guild in a sense this guild is level one this is just random guild i joined to show you um since it's level one you can see i get a bunch of stats nothing too you know exciting considering it's level one maybe at level 10 this would be super good i don't know if level 10 even, even is a thing but uh yeah so th there's the there's the thing for guilds i want to ask a question how does this guild have 21 members out of 20 members but okay moving on there is contest which is not out yet we have the boss now the boss is interesting it's a boss right the boss is like level 9 1999 so basically you cannot defeat them but uh, every single time uh, the boss opens up you can use your energy to attack it once i think and whatever your contribution is in defeating the boss uh, you will get uh, prizes for that mostly you get ethereal gemstones you get shit ton of ethereal gemstones which are useful for upgrading so i do like that chests are not available just yet uh, we have uh, training which is not available rewards which are not available so there's pretty much nothing else as you can see in the setting there's some auto fight options as you can see i've set it to 10 percent health so whenever my health drops to 10 percent it auto upgrades auto heals me um obviously i can spend energy or gold depending on how i want it battle animations are also showing battle animations are pretty much shit if i show you just this this is the battle animation win 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 or probably lose if you go against someone super strong but whatever i just want to say a few things about this and then i'm going to end this there's no offline mode to this unlike the first game which is which sucks 
I really wanted an offline mode, but it's called RPG online, so I guess it's fine, but not really. I prefer at least they should allow an option for an offline mode. Uh, there's a pay to win option here because, uh, as you can, if I go into the settings of this, is it in the settings? I forget. Uh, there's an option to buy, oh, right? All right, I know where it is. Uh, this customization this is coming soon. This king mode, so king mode essentially gives you certain benefits uh, and you can uh, get these benefits by buying it through real money and obviously if since this is an online game the king mode will give a pay to win advantage to whosoever um, you know pays to win obviously if there's no level cap if there's no level cap then there's uh, like whosoever starts first and it would give everyone get that much of an advantage but the advantage still would be there so that would fucking suck but yeah pay to win is a thing in this game very small extent but if you're just playing for yourself then it's fine but if you're playing for competitively then it's going to be a problem you cannot minimize the game if i minimize the game and left it for a few seconds it's not going to run in the background it's just going to stay there and there's just going to be it's gonna log me out essentially uh, so I cannot play it in the background so I cannot just like do something I have to keep it on the fucking screen like I'm doing stuff or right? I can't just leave my phone on air but uh, that's what it is I cannot minimize the one good thing is that you can reset stats as I showed you uh, reset stats right there so you can reset the stats uh, so yeah it's a uh, it's technically an upgrade and there's obviously a lot of different things that need to be updated into the game i think it came out on like when did it come out i think it came out on 20th january 2021 that's when the game was released uh today is 22 february 2021 so about a month and they have done a pretty good job in uh, rolling out the updates but regardless uh the game is good it's not for me I am not interested in playing uh, again one of these games where I have to leave the fucking thing on continuously. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. The link in the description to the game. There's also a link to my Twitter. There's also a link to my Patreon. Go check that shit out. And uh, bye bye.